Hi, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. The following is an excerpt from our What is New in Revit 2024 webinar. Please do not hesitate to drop us a line should you have any questions. Enjoy our presentation. Screen motion integration into Revit. I'm very excited about this one because, I mean, I, I will only let the software talk to you about it. It's really an amazing little tool. You have the ability to open up a twin motion session right from Revit. You can synchronize it, it because they're linked. They, there is a myriad of tools that you can use. But rather than actually talking too much about it, I'd rather, as a usual, show you and talk to you about it. OK, let's go ahead. And uh, you need to, by the way, in order to I'll, I'll open up a twin motion um, file or rather a session, you need to be in a 3D perspective. It could be a, a camera shot or it could be a 3D. It, either one, but you cannot be in a 2D uh, view because it just won't do it. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to then go to the views tab. And in the views tab, you will notice on the presentation, the twin motion icon, which you, if you open it, you have the ability to open up a twin motion uh, session. Okay, it's right now opening it up. We, I like to actually go ahead and uh, and um, collapse everything by material, and the reason for that is because I already defined my materials to be specific in Revit. So rather than to actually go ahead and rename a whole bunch of materials or come in with a bazillion and one pieces, this is is going to break it down to a much more manageable. Uh, amount of uh, objects by materials, of course, and I'll go ahead and say OK. It's going to go ahead and open it up. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and get rid of some of these things that are superfluous, such as that item. And in this case, this is what you get straight out of the box, or rather, straight out of Revit. OK, can we do anything to this? Absolutely. We can do so much, so, so much. For example, let's go ahead and add some trees here. Okay, this, I happen to like the Japanese cedars. And I want you to take a look, one cedar, two cedar, three cedar, four cedar. They don't all look the same because there is a randomness about how tw uh, twin motion actually adds foliage into your software, into your actual scene. Can you add more things? Can I say, for example, uh, I don't particularly like the grass here. Can we actually change that grass? Yes, we can change the grass. A lot of people would think, well, we, we, we could do that by changing the material. It goes way beyond that. Watch this. This is really incredible. I'm going to go back to the library here, switch the tools that are being represented for me into the foliage. I will go into foliage and select paint. OK, so with that, I'm going to go over here to the grass and I'm going to select this a little bit burnt out grass and maybe uh, this one that looks nice and rich and green, okay? And we're going to say that of the long grass, we don't want that to be too dense, so let's go ahead and put it, push it down. But on the lawn one, we want a lot of density, a lot more greener than, than usual. Let's push it up to 92, okay? Uh, now let's go ahead and to select nothing, select the paint tool, and this diameter is kind of big, but let's go ahead and use it in here. Okay, that looks rather nice. Can we make that diameter smaller, maybe to get into, into the more difficult to reach areas? Absolutely. By changing the diameter here, having the paintbrush selected, I can then go ahead and do that. It's still a little bit on the tight side, so let's go ahead and make this 0.8. And now we can go ahead and place. If you make a mistake and you kind of oh, accidentally place it where it's not supposed to, never fear, you have an eraser, then you can go ahead and, er and erase items, okay? Can we actually change the backgrounds on this? Actually, yes, you can. If you come over here to the HDRIs, for example, you let's say you use some skies, some uh, morning or afternoon, let's say um, clear skies, this looks really pretty. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it. There it is. Watch this. We can change the rotation. We can change so much. We can change the weather. Oh, flooding. Okay, it's pretty funny. Uh, you can change the time of year. Winter, 
summer, whatever it is that you want, right there. Can you actually rotate this item? Okay, you can change the exposures, of course. Okay, and if you go to details, you can change the sun, you can change anything you want here, okay? And you can also change the location if you so want. In the HDRIs, we have the density, the rotation, as I was telling you before. I want the sun not to come from, from the, towards my back, but I want it to come actually more toward from the side. I can go ahead and, well, I like that side, but I like the side that shows me the actual mirror of the actual, not mirror, sorry, the, the actual um, um, shadow of the trees a little more, and there we go. Beautiful little tool that we have now available for us. Can we actually add anything else? Actually, uh, let's say, for example, I don't happen to like the glass here. The glass is a little too shiny. Can we switch it? Absolutely, very quickly. Come back, come over here to the glasses, um, to the glass uh, materials, select one, and then just go ahead and drop it in there. Okay, you can still go ahead and modify it to your heart's content and make it as good as you can make it. Let's go ahead and see, for example, if we can actually switch this material. Actually, let's say, for example, that this material seems a little bit on the on the dense side, the and the on the actual wood for the garage door. We can then go to the eyedrop picker, select the actual particular material right there okay and it's already been selected it's at the top right there can I, can I can add some grunge that means some dirt okay and i've always found that by adding a little bit of grunge to your materials you're going to have a, a lot better um, um ability to uh, create a much more um realistic scene can we change the scale absolutely we can change the scale anytime we want right here okay we can also rotate it and do many, many, many more things that are available right through the twin motion. This is one heck of a game changer as far as rendering is concerned. 